Praise the living Yeshua. Hallelujah. We thank God for this day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. We give all glory, honor, and adoration to God because God is good and His mercies endure forever. We also thank God that it's by His mercies that we are not consumed. All the challenges of life, all the problems of life, physically, spiritually, economically, and just anyhow we can mention it. We thank God because God is good. That is why we are alive. Let us give all thanks to God in the mighty name of Yeshua. Amen. So, on a thankful day like this, despite what is going on around the world, we welcome you, our listeners and our followers, our subscribers from all around the world, to this wonderful service in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Yeshua. Amen. Amen. We want you to continually follow us like our channel, subscribe to this channel, share these sermons with your loved ones. And we pray that the Lord God Almighty will bless you in the mighty name of Yeshua as you do so. Amen. It shall be well with all of you and all of us in the mighty name of Yeshua. Amen. And in the journey of life, we shall be overcomers in the mighty name of Yeshua. Amen. We shall not lose, we shall not fall, but we shall be overcomers in the mighty name of Yeshua. Amen. And it shall be well with us all in the mighty name of Yeshua. Amen. In Yeshua's mighty name, you have prayed. Amen. Amen. Our topic for this wonderful Sunday that the Lord has made is we are bound to give thanks. Praise the name of Yeshua. Amen. Amen. We are bound to give thanks. We are bound to give thanks. We are bound to give thanks. That is the topic. Every human being, all of us believers, those listening to us who have not come into the kingdom, that we are expecting to come into the kingdom, we know that the Holy Spirit will convince you and you will come, you will enter the kingdom today in the mighty name of Yeshua. Amen. So we are bound to give thanks. What does it mean? What does that topic mean? What does the, sen what does the sentence mean? We are bound to give thanks. Being bound means to be restricted to something or you are fixed to something. When they say something, you are bound by something. You must do that thing. Pray the living Yeshua. And it is something meaningful and productive and progressive, not just rubbish. We are bound to give thanks. Being bound means you must do something. That thing that you are bound to do, you must do it. It means to be fixed on something. It means that thing is mandatory, it is compulsory. Now, let me give you an example of being bound. A pregnant woman is bound to give birth to a child. Yes or no? Yes. When a pregnant woman is pregnant for nine months and the child has not come, it gets to 12 months, the child has not come, you know, everybody will not be normal again. People will start feeling uncomfortable because it is expected that the pregnant woman should deliver that baby in nine months. And the baby has not come. Twelve months, the baby has not come. Then something is wrong. So when they say you are bound to do something, that thing must be done. You cannot go back. It must be what done. Praise the name Yeshua. So today we are talking about we are bound to give thanks. A student that goes to school is bound to graduate. When you graduate, you are bound to look for opportunities that will make you earn a living. Praise the name of Yeshua. Even Apostle Paul said, Necessity is laid upon me, I must preach the gospel. Praise the name of Yeshua. When you make your money, you are bound to feed yourself. Is there anybody in this life that does not eat? We are bound to eat. That is how being bound means. I'm trying to give us the, the examples of what it means to be bound. It's something that it is expected of you to do. It is normal. You must do it. It's not something that you can negotiate. It's not negotiable. That is the meaning of being bound. And now our text is taken from 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13. 2 Thessalonians 2 13. It says, 2 Thessalonians 2 13. Let's read together. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13. It says, but we are bound to give thanks to God Almighty always for you, brethren, beloved by the Lord, because God from the beginning chose you for salvation. 
question of true sanctification by the Spirit and belief in the truth. Praise the name Yeshua. Now, what do I want to bring out of this particular passage? In 2 Thessalonians, we are made to understand that we are bound to give thanks to God always for several reasons. Praise the name Yeshua. Some of the reasons are mentioned here, but they are not only limited to this. The reasons are more than what is even written here. Do you know that sometimes in the New Testament they say, the Bible says, if we are to write everything Jesus did, no book will be able to contain it. That is how it is. When we are to write everything we are supposed to be giving thanks to God for, no book can contain it. When we talk about thanksgiving, no book can contain everything we need to write about God. No book can contain it. And I pray the Lord will help us in the mighty name of Yeshua. Amen. So 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 13, which is our text, says, But we are bound to give thanks to God always for you, brethren, beloved by the Lord, because God from the beginning chose you for salvation. You are chosen for salvation, everyone that is listening to me. I have been chosen for salvation, and by the grace of God I am saved. You also, you are chosen for salvation. God chose you for salvation. True sanctification by the Spirit and by belief in the truth. What is the truth? The gospel of Yeshua, the Son of God Almighty. That is the truth. Praise the living Yeshua. So for everyone listening unto us in this beautiful Sunday, we are letting you know that salvation package has been made for you through Yeshua. By God Almighty. God has created salvation for you. He said here that He has chosen us by the Spirit. From the beginning. So there are so many things that God has done for us from the beginning of this time. From the, even before we were born, God has been making the arrangement for us, which we should be giving thanks to God for. Even us who have received salvation, we are still thankful to God for salvation in this very moment. That God saved our soul, we are still thankful to God. Praise the name of Yeshua. So, I have said that being born means to you must do that thing. And now we are talking about thanksgiving. And the Bible has made us understand in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 19 that we are bound to give thanks. We must give thanks. Tell your neighbor you must give thanks. I must give thanks. And I pray that the Lord will say that thanksgiving in the mighty name of Yeshua. Amen. So, another way you can say thanks is showing appreciation. What is the meaning of thanksgiving? Showing appreciation. You are showing that, yes, you value what has been done to you, what has been given to you, what you see. Whatever it is, you value it. That's when you're giving thanks and showing appreciation. You value it. It means you value it. You are giving thanks, you are showing appreciation because you do what? You value it. Now, what are the things to do to show appreciation? What are the things that you, the actions you must take that will show that yes, you appreciate? What actions are you to take to show appreciation? What actions are you to take to show appreciation? Number one, you are to thank God for the mercy of God. You are to give thanks to God for His mercies. That can be found in Lamentations chapter 3, verse 22. Let us see. Why should we thank God for His mercies? Or what, why are we giving that thanks to God for His mercies? Lamentations chapter 3, verse 22. Lamentations 3.22 Hello, Lamentations 3.22 Why should we thank God for His mercies? Lamentations 3.22 Lamentations 3.22 says It is by the mercy of God that we are not consumed for his mercies endure it forever. Hallelujah. It is by the mercies of the Lord that we are not consumed because his mercies endure it for what? Forever. So, because the mercies of the Lord endure it forever over every one of us, we are supposed to be given.
giving thanks to God. Today is a Thanksgiving Sunday now, the first Sunday in the month of February. Is it not the mercy of God that has kept us up to this moment? If it is by our own planning or our own doing, we will not be alive today. But because of the mercy of God, God is so merciful to us that He does it, He still wants us to be alive. That's why we are still alive. And I pray that we will still be alive to the glory of the Lord in the mighty name of Yeshua. We are going to glorify the Lord in everything that we do in the mighty name of Yeshua and the name of the Lord we praise in the mighty name of Yeshua. Amen. Amen. Through the Lord's mercy, we are not consumed because His compassions, they fail not. Another, another interpretation. And another one says, by the mercy of God, we are not consumed because His mercies, they endure it forever. The mercy of the Lord will not stop over our life and over the life of everyone listening to us in the mighty name of Yeshua. Amen. May we continue to enjoy the mercy of God in this life and after this life in the mighty name of Yeshua. The mercy of the Lord shall continually be my portion, shall be the portion of my family and everyone listening to us in the mighty name of Yeshua. Amen. Amen. You have to say a resounding amen so that even everyone will know that you are serious. So, things to show appreciation to God for number one, the mercy of God. Nobody can show mercy the way God will show you mercy. So, we have said that in Application chapter 3, verse 2. The next one is for the daily blessings of God. God is giving us blessings every day. Some people don't know, but I can tell you that every day we have some blessings of God. Every day. Every day. God is blessing us every day. Every human being has an access to the blessing of God and the children of God who has, they have access to the blessing of God. That can be found in Psalm 68 verse 19. Psalm 68 verse 19. Psalm 68 verse 19. Blessed be the Lord who daily loads us with benefit, the God of our salvation. That is to say, God blesses us every day. So, what is expected from somebody that has collected blessing from God? You are to give thanks to God. I am to give thanks to God. And I pray that as we offer our thanksgiving to God, the Lord will accept them in the mighty name of Yeshua. Amen. So, we have to continually give thanks to God. I must give thanks to God. You must give thanks to God. Everyone must give thanks to God by the grace of God. And I pray the Lord will answer us as we do so in the mighty name of Yeshua. Amen. All our listeners all over the world, please give thanks to God. It is for your own benefit. The thanksgiving you give to God is, is going to be rewarded. Same one with every one of us listening to, to this day and preaching to you. Whatever thanksgiving we offer to God, we are going to receive the reward. Praise the living Yeshua. Hallelujah. Now, another thing to do to show the blessing of God is to thank God for His help. We have said the first word, for the mercy of God, we are to thank God for that, to offer thanksgiving to God. For the blessings of God, you are to give thanks to show that yes, God is blessing us every day. And the third one now is, for the help of God, God is helping us every day, we are to give thanks to Him. That, that can be found in Psalm 127. Verse 1 to 2. Psalm 127, 1 to 2. Psalm 127, 1 to 2. It says, Unless the help the Lord build the house, they labor in vain. Who built it? Did you hear that? So, whatever you are building in life, whatever you are building in life, it is only God that can give you success. If God does not help you, you can even finish it and live this life. But if God is with you, or God just shows you mercy, Whatever project you are executing, it will be completed. And I pray that all the projects that we have in mind will be completed in the mighty name of Yeshua. Amen. Amen. All our listeners, all the good projects you have in your mind, God will allow you to achieve them in the mighty name of Yeshua. Amen. Amen. Unless the Lord guards the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. So if you are watching over your house, locking the gate and doing everything, it is God that is protecting you. If God does not protect you, all those efforts that you are doing will be in vain. You will do everything and it will still fail. But because God has been merciful, He has been helping us, that is why everything we do is leading to success. So shall it be in the mighty name of Yeshua. Amen. Amen.
So that's the last thing to do to show appreciation. You are to give thanks for the help that God is giving us. And God has always been merciful. He's always given us help. Now, how to give thanks? How to? Things to do to show appreciation, we have said it. Giving thanks for God as is merciful, for his blessings, for his, for, 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 for his help. You have to give thanks to God for that. But how can you now give that thanks? How can you show that gratitude? How can you give God that thanks? Or how can you say thank you to God Almighty? Number one, true Yeshua. True his son, Yeshua. Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. Colossians.
to give thanks to God. There are hymns that are written to give thanks to God. Hymns like, Go to God be the glory, great is he has done. So love that he gave us his, his, his so love he did what that he gave us his son. Who you dared himself an atonement for sin and open the life gates that all may go in. That is, God gave us that him. He's talking about God Almighty giving us his son Yeshua to come and die for our sin and open our all of us to have access to God Almighty. So we can give thanks to God by singing hymns. There are several hymns that we sing in church that can give thanks to God. Give thanks, so many, so many. Showers of blessing, showers of blessing, showers of blessing. We see blessings around us are falling, but for the showers we please. We are singing hymns to God just to let him know that yes, we have showers of blessing, we need more, and we still want more. By praising God, praising, 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 praise with us, the King of Kings. We are telling God that yes, so we are praising you just to show that yes, you are good. He says, praising for his grace and favor, praising for this, praising for that, is another way of showing thanksgiving to God, showing gratitude. That can be found in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 19. Ephesians 5, 19. He said, speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your hearts to the Lord. Hallelujah. Singing and making melody in your heart to God. You can create song in your heart to give thanks to God. All the songs that we are singing today, some people talk about it. Some people created the melody in their heart and today it has become the song that we are singing. And I pray that the song of thanksgiving will not cease in our life in the mighty name of Yeshua. Amen. We shall continually give thanks from glory to glory in the mighty name of Yeshua. Amen. We shall continually have reasons to give thanks from glory to glory in the mighty name of Yeshua. And the God will continually give us grace to always give thanks in the mighty name of Yeshua. Amen. So Ephesians chapter 5 verse 19 has made us understand why we must sing songs, spiritual songs and hymns. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20 has made us know that in all things we must give thanks. That is the second way of giving thanks to God. And Colossians chapter 3 verse 17 has made us understand that it is thanks can be given to God through Yeshua. It is only through Yeshua that we can give thanks to God. Those are the three ways we can give thanks to God Almighty. And I pray that as we do this, God will help us in the mighty name of Yeshua. So in summary, our topic for today is that we are bound to give thanks. Our text is taken from 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 13. We have discussed or we have, we have explained what it means to be bound. Things to show appreciation is the first subtopic that we discussed. And we talk about for the mercy of God, for his daily blessings and for his help for us. Those are the things that we must show appreciation to God for. For the mercy of God, for the for God's daily blessings, and for His help for us, we have to show God appreciation for this. And how to give thanks is the final one that we we have just said. So, by the grace of God, I want us to be on our feet, and I pray for everyone listening to us all around the world as you you take this bold step to come into the kingdom of God through His Son Yeshua. We have said it today. Everything we do in the kingdom of God is through Jesus Christ Yeshua. For you to be saved. For you to receive salvation, it is through Jesus Christ, it is through Yeshua. For you to give thanks to God Almighty, it is through Jesus Christ, it is through Yeshua. For you to live a godly life, it is through the grace of Jesus Christ and Yeshua. And we pray that this grace will come upon everyone listening to us today in the mighty name of Yeshua. They will receive this grace and begin to live a kingdom life in the mighty name of Yeshua. By this grace, they will be able to give thanks to God Almighty properly in the mighty name of Yeshua. And the name of Yeshua will be glorified as God Almighty will be praised in all things in the mighty name of Yeshua. Our Father and our God, we thank you. We thank you, Almighty, for your message today. We thank you for everything that you have been doing for us until this very moment. And we thank you because this is the day that the Lord has made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We give thanks on behalf of everyone listening to us. Whose souls have been saved that we believe and we trust. And we give thanks because God, we know that by your grace and mercy, 
they will continually follow you to the kingdom of heaven in the mighty name of Yeshua. Henceforth, as we continue to give thanks in your kingdom, Father Lord God Almighty, bless us in the mighty name of Yeshua. Accept our thanksgiving in the mighty name of Yeshua. And at the end of it all, let your name be glorified in the mighty name of Yeshua. Father, before we conclude, we say thank you for all the things you have been doing for us. We thank you for the visible things. We thank you for the invisible things that you have been doing for us. We thank you for the past, O oh Lord God Almighty. We thank you for the present in the mighty name of Yeshua. And we thank you for the future of our lives in the mighty name of Yeshua. We thank you for the future of everyone listening unto us in the mighty name of Yeshua. We thank you for their present and we thank you for their past. And we thank you for everything, O Lord God Almighty. The ones that we know that and the ones we will never know. And we say, O Lord God Almighty, we will name you praise in the mighty name of Yeshua. In Yeshua's mighty, wonderful, and excellent name we are free. Amen. Let's put my heart together. Thank you, Yeshua. Thank you, Yeshua. I say thank you, Yeshua.